In the depths of space, 13 billion light year from Earth, astronomers have discovered something that should not exist. Galaxies so massive, so perfectly formed that they appear older than the universe itself. These cosmic giants glowing like ancient cities in the darkness contain as many stars as our own Milky Way. But they formed when the universe was supposedly just a newborn infant, barely 500 million years old. We will journey through impossible discoveries that are shaking the foundations of science, encounter galaxies that defy the laws of physics, and explore theories that could double the age of everything we know. Make sure to like and subscribe as we dive into this cosmic mystery. The James Webb Space Telescope has not just changed what we see in space, it has potentially shattered our most fundamental beliefs about reality itself. Prepare yourselves. We begin. Music. July 11, 2022 changed everything. Scientists around the world received the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope, expecting to see the cosmic equivalent of baby photos. Instead, they found giants. Dr. Erica Nelson stared at her computer screen in disbelief. The tiny red dot she was analyzing should have been a faint smudge, a primitive galaxy struggling to form its first stars. But the numbers her software calculated made her nearly spill her coffee. Distance 13.1 billion light year. Mass 100 billion stars. The galaxy contained as many stars as our entire Milky Way, but it existed when the universe was only 700 million years old. Think of it like finding a fully grown oak tree in a nursery full of seedlings. According to everything we know about how galaxies form, this should be impossible. The Big Bang Theory tells us that after the universe began 13.8 billion years ago, it took hundreds of millions of years for the first stars to ignite. Then those stars had to live, die, and scatter heavy elements across space before the next generation could form. Building a galaxy like the Milky Way should take billions of years of this cosmic recycling. But here was a galaxy that appeared to have skipped the entire process. It glowed with the light of ancient stars, showed complex structure, and contained heavy elements that should not have existed yet. The discovery violated the fundamental timeline of cosmic evolution. If the universe was only 700 million years old at that point, where did this galaxy find the time to grow so massive? The implications sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Either our understanding of galaxy formation was completely wrong, or the universe itself was much older than we thought. Some researchers began whispering about the unthinkable, that the Big Bang Theory might need to be reconsidered. Dr. Nelson and her colleagues had stumbled upon what would become known as the impossible early galaxy problem. Within months, similar discoveries multiplied across the sky. Each new find deepened the mystery and challenged the foundations of modern cosmology. But this single red dot was just the beginning of a cosmic puzzle that would force humanity to question everything we thought we knew about the universe's birth. The universe operates on a cosmic schedule that seemed unbreakable until now. According to the Big Bang model, the first 400,000 years after creation were chaos, a hot, dense soup where not even atoms could form. Only after this cosmic fog cleared could hydrogen and helium atoms finally assemble. These simple elements drifted through space for another 100 million years before gravity could pull them together into the first star-forming clouds. Those primordial stars, massive and short-lived, had to explode as supernova to create heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. Only then could the next generation of stars begin forming the complex galaxies we see today. This process should take at least one billion years, like building a skyscraper from the ground up. You need a foundation, then a framework, then the floors, and finally the finishing touches. The universe supposedly followed this same steppy-step construction process, but the galaxies Webb discovered seem to have completed construction in half the time. They contain heavy elements that should not exist yet, stars that should not have formed, and structures that should not have had time to organize. It is as if someone built a cathedral in a single afternoon. The numbers simply do not add up. 
If the universe began 13.8 billion years ago, and we are seeing these galaxies as they were 13.1 billion years ago, that leaves only 700 million years for them to form. Current physics suggests they would need at least 2 billion years to reach such massive sizes. This timing problem has forced astronomers to consider three possibilities, each more revolutionary than the last. First, galaxy formation might work completely differently than we thought, with stars forming 100 times faster than current models predict. Second, the universe might be much older than 13.8 billion years, giving these galaxies the time they need to mature. Third, the Big Bang theory itself might be fundamentally flawed. The cosmic clock is ticking, and something does not match the schedule we thought was written in the stars. Among the thousands of galaxies Webb photographed, one type stood out like beacons in the darkness. Astronomers dubbed them little red dots because they appeared as tiny crimson points of light, completely invisible to previous telescopes. These red dots became the smoking gun in cosmology's greatest mystery. Unlike normal galaxies that shine across many colors, these objects glowed intensely in infrared light while remaining nearly invisible in other wavelengths. This extreme redness suggested they contained something extraordinary, either ancient stars or actively feeding supermassive black holes. When scientists analyzed the first red dot, they discovered it contained roughly 100 billion stars, making it comparable in mass to our own Milky Way. But this galaxy existed when the universe was only 5% of its current age. The discovery was like finding a fully grown human in a nursery full of newborns. The red color itself told a story that challenged everything we knew about early cosmic evolution. In a young universe, galaxies should be blue and bright, filled with hot, massive stars burning through their fuel quickly. Red galaxies typically indicate old, mature, stellar population stars that have been burning steadily for billions of years. But these red dots appear to be both young and old simultaneously. They existed in the early universe, but contained the stellar signatures of ancient systems. This paradox violated the basic principles of cosmic evolution like finding snow in summer. As more red dots appeared in Webb's images, the pattern became undeniable. These were not isolated anomalies, but part of a larger population of massive early galaxies. Some estimates suggested there were 100 times more of these objects than the Big Bang Theory predicted should exist. The scientific community split into camps. Some researchers argued the red dots proved that galaxy formation was far more efficient in the early universe than anyone had imagined. Others suggested the dots were optical illusions created by supermassive black holes outshining their host galaxies. But a growing number of scientists began to consider a more radical possibility that the red dots were telling us something fundamental about the universe itself was wrong. Inside every galaxy, stars are born from clouds of gas and dust in a process that normally takes millions of years. But the massive early galaxies Webb discovered seem to have compressed this timeline into something almost impossible. To create a galaxy with 100 billion stars in only 700 million years, star formation would need to occur at a rate that defies known physics. Current models suggest that even under perfect conditions, galaxies can only convert about 10% of their available gas into stars. The rest gets blown away by stellar winds and supernova explosions. But these early giants appear to have achieved conversion rates approaching 100%. Every atom of hydrogen and helium would need to have been transformed into stars with almost no waste. This is like expecting a factory to operate at perfect efficiency with zero defects or leftover materials. The energy requirements alone seem insurmountable. When massive stars form, they generate powerful stellar winds that heat surrounding gas to millions of degrees. This hot gas normally expands away from the galaxy, preventing further star formation. It acts like a cosmic thermostat, regulating the pace at which new stars can ignite. For these early galaxies to form so many stars so quickly, they would need to overcome this natural cooling process. Some scientists propose that the early universe was denser, making it harder for hot gas to escape. 
Others suggest that dark matter behaved differently in the primordial cosmos, providing stronger gravitational wells to trap star-forming material. The mathematics of rapid star formation pushed the boundaries of theoretical physics. Computer simulations that tried to recreate these conditions either failed to produce enough stars or created galaxies that should have torn themselves apart from their own energy output. Yet the evidence was undeniable. These galaxies had somehow achieved star formation rates that modern physics said were impossible. They had compressed billions of years of cosmic evolution into a few hundred million years, like watching a time-lapse video of galactic development. The implications reach far beyond astronomy, suggesting that our understanding of fundamental processes in the universe might need complete revision. At the heart of every massive galaxy lies a supermassive black hole, a gravitational monster containing millions or billions of times the mass of our sun. But in the early universe, these cosmic giants present an even greater mystery than the galaxies themselves. The red dots Webb discovered do not just contain impossible numbers of stars. They also harbor black holes that should not exist. These objects show signatures of actively feeding black holes with gas spiraling inward at tremendous speeds and heating to millions of degrees. The process creates some of the brightest objects in the universe called quasars but growing a supermassive black hole takes time. Like feeding a cosmic beast that can never be satisfied. A black hole must consume material from its surroundings. And there are physical limits to how fast it can feed. Scientists call this the Eddington limit, the maximum rate at which matter can fall into a black hole before the outward pressure from heating gas balances the inward pull of gravity. Even if a black hole fed continuously at this maximum rate, it would take hundreds of millions of years to grow from a stellar mass seed to supermassive proportions. But the black holes Webb found appear to have achieved this growth in a fraction of the available time. Some would need to have been feeding at five times the Eddington limit for their entire existence. This is like discovering that someone gained 1,000 pounds by eating only one meal per day. The physics simply does not allow it. Yet, these primordial black holes seem to have violated the fundamental laws governing their own growth. The problem becomes even more complex when considering where these black holes came from in the first place. The traditional model suggests they formed from the collapse of the first generation of massive stars. But those stars would need time to form, live, and die before leaving behind black hole remnants. In the early universe, this process would consume most of the available time, leaving little opportunity for subsequent growth. Some researchers now propose that supermassive black holes might have formed directly from the collapse of primordial gas clouds, skipping the stellar phase entirely. Others suggest that the early universe contained mysterious objects called primordial black holes that served as seeds for later growth. But these cosmic monsters were about to reveal an even more shocking secret about the nature of reality itself. What if the most massive galaxies Webb discovered were not massive at all, but cosmic magicians performing the ultimate illusion? Recent research suggests that some of these early giants might be optical mirages created by the very black holes at their centers. When matter falls into a supermassive black hole, it forms a swirling disk called an accretion disk. Friction within this disk heats the material to millions of degrees, causing it to glow brighter than billions of stars. This intense radiation can outshine the entire galaxy surrounding the black hole, creating a false impression of tremendous stellar mass. The effect is like trying to count candles in a room while someone shines a searchlight in your face. The overwhelming brightness makes it impossible to see what lies underneath. Similarly, Actively feeding black holes can mask the true stellar content of their host galaxies, making them appear far more massive than they actually are. This discovery offered a potential solution to the impossible early galaxy problem. If many of the red dots were actually moderate-sized galaxies with extremely bright central black holes, the crisis in cosmology might be resolved. The universe would not need to violate the laws of physics to create massive galaxies in record time. But this explanation came with its own set of problems. 
even if the galaxies were less massive than they appeared, they still contained supermassive black holes that should not exist in the early universe. The Mirage hypothesis simply moved the impossibility from stellar mass to black hole mass. Furthermore, detailed analysis of some red dots showed clear evidence of large stellar populations alongside the black hole signatures. These galaxies were not just bright. They were genuinely massive, containing billions of stars that had somehow formed in the cosmic blink of an eye. The Mirage effect might explain some of the Webb observations, but it could not account for all of them. Many of the early galaxies appeared to be both massive and bright, suggesting that the universe had indeed found a way to accelerate cosmic evolution beyond our current understanding. As astronomers worked to separate genuine giants from cosmic illusions, an even more radical possibility began to emerge from the shadows of scientific history. In 1929, while Edwin Hubble was discovering that distant galaxies appeared to be racing away from us, a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky proposed a radically different explanation for the same observations. 